Hello, welcome. You're watching Headset VR. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another gaming video. Now, I've had quite a lot of requests recently and over the last few weeks for me to do a setup guide for Red Dead Redemption 2 in 3D using Reshade. So I'm going to do a complete step-by-step -step guide here for this. So there's a few things that you need to replicate the immersion that I've had in the recent videos I've uploaded. First of all, of course, you need the most recent version of the game installed. As you can see here, now I've just done an update for this. And what you also need is Reshade, the most recent version of that. First of all, we'll start by downloading Reshade. So just go to the link that's in the description and download the version the most recent version which in this case is 6.0.1 okay what you also need is a copy of virtual desktop now i've got this from steam and you also need a program called open track so if we just look and the latest version is 2023.3.0 okay so go to the link in the description download the open track win setup and then from there find where the file is downloaded to now i've already done this so basically just follow the steps and get that set up okay so from here what we need to do now is set up reshade so now the thing is reshade for red dead redemption is a little bit different from what it is now i already have it set up all you do well for me i couldn't find red dead redemption 2 in the list of games because this should list every single game you've got installed on your hard drives so i had to physically search for it as you saw just now and you find the rdrt 2.exe in the game folder hit the open button click next click yes and then choose the Vulcan API and then from there just click uncheck all and what you need is depth 3d by blue sky defender which will include super depth 3d and super depth 3d VR and then you click next and that's it oh it seems it's successfully installed it's slightly changed since I last installed it okay so from there click finish but before we launch the game what what we need to do is change the reshade menu setting now i say this because the usual reshade menu setting is opened using the home key so if we just go into the game settings where the game is installed which for me is on the e-drive and you look for reshade.ini now you open that and what you need to look for is in the input section okay which in this case for me is key overlay and this key is bound to a specific key now what i've done is bound that to the plus number pad key bind now if you don't want that there is a link in the description that will give you the javascript key code so you can find out the number for the keybind that you want to put on for example if you want to use the p key you type it in and let's show you an example on here so if i want to use the p key i press p and it tells me as you can see it's the key p and it'll give me the number 80. so what we do then is i would edit this 107 to the number 80. but i'm not going to do that i want to stick with 107 so then I will file, save, and then we can close that down, and we can close that down. So now we can open and launch the game. Now if it asks you about any script hooks, just press yes, and from there the game should launch. 
Well, as you may have seen just then, it gave me the reshape menu at the top of the screen saying to use the plus key to open it, like so. So, what I'm going to do here is just enable Super Depth 3D VR. And I've already got some of these settings set up. So I've put the near plane adjustment here on the depth map at 70. And then I press the plus key. And that's it. We're now in side by side. Okay. So what I'm going to do while we're in side by side is I'm going to change now from the mouse and keyboard to the game pad. There we go. And the game is loaded. Now... What you can do here is if you press the V key, or because I'm using the gamepad now, I can press one of the options buttons, it will change the game view. So if I just move first of all, there we go, it'll change back to first person mode because I've had that set up. You can press, like I said, the key bind to change it back to third person, slightly out, slightly out, back to first person again. Right, so we're in first person. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot up virtual desktop and open track. Usually, I would op do open track first, so let's do that. Right, so I've got open track set, um, started. Now you want to put this if you're using an Oculus at Oculus Rift runtime. And also, I'll click the mirror, and then we'll press start. Now, if you've got your headset on, that will actually activate open track in your headset. So we're then going to minimise this down. And as you can see now, using my headset turning left and right, I can look around. Now, I can't actually see the game in my headset. What we need to do now oh, is get Virtual Desktop running. Okay, so we launch Virtual Desktop. I've got a device connected. Okay, so that's started. Now, what you want to do now is enable half SBS. And then, if you look into your headset, you'll see it looking a little bit on the bizarre side. Minimise that down, and then put on your headset, and Hello, you have Arthur. Red Dead Redemption 2 played inside your VR headset. Now, you can use some of the keybinds to move the camera screen in and out. Arthur, stop pretending so, to look busy and sit down. Shush. Yeah. You got that down to a fine so, art. So, you've got F2 to zoom out, F3 to zoom in. So, we're going to move in a little bit. And there we go. So, I can't see the edges of the screen. And I look round and this looks absolutely fantastic. So, before we do anything, let's just celebrate the amazing view that is the Van der Linden Camp in 3D using a VR headset. This looks absolutely fucking amazing. Every time I play this in a VR headset, it looks absolutely amazing. There's not really enough superlatives to actually explain this game. I honestly, I feel like dancing. Particularly to this dickhead with a banjo. Right, so... Let's take things a little bit further. Now, if you want, I'm using the gamepad, like I say. So you can use this stick to flick around. It might make some people feel a little bit sick. It doesn't really bother me so much. But you can look up. You can look down. You can look left. You can look right. Now, I've put these on high settings. Some of them on, a, on ultra. Now, depending on your graphics card as to what you want to do with the settings. Now, what I want to do is go and find John Marston. Now, unfortunately, John Marston 
isn't actually here. So let me show you where John Marston is. Okay, so I've pretty much arrived at where John Marston is, finally. So I'm gonna hitch my horse just here. Ah, well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. Well, you can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. Yeah, I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I'm trying to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Shaw doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, eh? Huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. Who are you? I am the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. Wake up, you lazy son. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. I'm the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, yeah. get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I don't make sure she slows. I still want time with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Choo choo, motherfucker. You're looking at Baldy. Got nothing. Want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet. Probably something in here, Arthur. Get off the edge of the 
Twice a chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, well this is gonna be problematic. This is gonna this is not gonna end well in VR. I'm in trouble now, big time! Well, that's it. Well, yep, I'm in massive trouble. There's so many here. I don't think we're going to be able to rob the train completely. But hey, well, this is Red Dead Redemption 2 with the set of going to play it inside a VR headset. And honestly, it is amazing. Getting shot by lots of guys is not amazing, however. But if you'd like to play this inside your VR headsets, then just follow this guide. Now, I'm playing on an RX 6600 XT GPU, a Ryzen 9 3900X CPU. I've got 32GB of RAM. I'm using the Quest 3 headset, and I've got a rather large smile on my face. And a couple of bullets in my head, unfortunately. So, I'm just going to leave this here, and I'd just like to say thank you for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, then please like it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. More VR related content from Headset VR. Otherwise, any comments that you want to make about the video, please post them in the usual place. And I'll respond to every one of them as soon as I can. Unless, of course, you are part of the law. In which case, we'll get Arthur and John Marston to shoot you in the face. Otherwise, thank you very much. Look out for the next video, and we'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.